Hey YouTube, it's Justin, aka Demonic Sweaters, here with a little vlog drum room entry today. Uh, I got a few things I want to do here. And uh, well, first off, I'll just show you the first thing, which is I recently just picked up a Gogger rims mounting system for my Rack Tom. And uh, if you're not familiar with Gogger, uh, you know, basically this company uh, invented the Tom isolation uh, rims mount and they basically invented it back in the 1980s and since then a lot of people have copied it and uh, you know there's a lot of uh, drum manufacturers have their own version and in fact I have one on here right now it's a uh, what is this uh, Gibraltar uh, basically uh, isolation mount but this thing I was never quite that happy with it and there's a couple reasons why uh, well, number one, it doesn't really cover a lot of the drum, and in fact, it's only on two lugs right here. And after watching a lot of the, the Gogger videos uh, by the guy who actually invented these things, you know, he was basically, you know, and I believe what he was saying was explaining how having just all the pressure on these two lugs isn't really good for the drum at all. And in fact, it pulls the head over, over time, it basically pulls the rim and the head over this way and ends up choking out the drum basically just as much as it does if you have no isolation mount at all. And for a while there, you know, I was kind of on the fence about isolation mounts, um, you know, totally, because I've had some drum sets that, you know, where they really didn't work at all. I had a Pearl one, but uh, that one was terrible. And then I had this, and uh, but I never actually had the OG, which is the Gogger uh, rims mounting system. And I just picked one up. I ordered it directly from their site. That's the only place you can get them. Uh, is from gogger.com. I'll post the link down below. Uh, not sponsored or anything. Just uh, thought, it, thought it was cool. And uh, it's made out of uh, some type of aluminum alloy. It's very light. Uh, this one here is steel. So basically what I have to do is, you know, set that up. I have it mostly put together. I just have to put on the little clips and attach my mounting hardware to this bracket here and then put it on the drum. And I think that's gonna be good. Uh, one of the main reasons why these are better, not to keep, or supposedly better, not to keep talking about it, but since it does take up more area, and what it does is it basically gives you a center of gravity on the drum, you know, from this lug to this lug, and then it has another support over here too. So it's basically gravity is, you know, holding it on, you know, pushing downward, whereas this one, since it's all basically on one side, all the weight is being put on these two lugs right here and it, they're, they're being pulled that way, uh, which really isn't good. And I think it would probably damage the drum over time. I actually haven't had this on here that long. I had it on probably a couple years ago and then took it off. And I just put it back on a couple days ago. And then I was like, you know, thinking about it and then watching some videos and I thought I would try one of these. Anyway, that's enough about that. Other thing I'm gonna do here is put on these maple wood hoops uh, on my bass drum. And if you might remember a few, probably a couple months ago, I put on these metal hoops. Originally this kit came with those Tama AccuTune hoops, which are basically plastic. And I didn't really like the way they looked. And I was like, you know, replace them with these metal tubes. Metal hoops were very cheap, so I put those on there first. But then I kept seeing all these new Tamas with these really great looking wood hoops on them. And I was like, man, it would look so much nicer with wood. So I bought these, they were unfinished maple, and I stained them myself. Uh, I did an okay job. I mean, I don't have a lot of space to work with this kind of stuff. So basically I just stained them and put two coats of uh, clear on there without sanding or anything, because I, I really just don't have the sandpaper or anywhere to do it. But I think they still look pretty good, even though I didn't sand it, uh, I think they're fine. So I'm gonna put those on there. And then third, I'm going to switch out my palm heads back to the Aquarian Studio X heads, which I had on here before. And recently I've been playing these Aquarian uh, Classic Clear with the Power Center or Power Dot. And I like these, but I don't like them quite as much as the Studio X. So I'm gonna put the Studio X back on. I had these on here for a long time and they're still quite good. I mean, these heads, you know, they're obviously used, but there's no like major dents or anything in there. so. They still sound nice. I'm gonna put those back on. And you may notice I got rid of my 
Uh, well, I didn't get rid of it, but it's no longer on here, my mini Timbali, uh, basically because of space. Uh, I have such a small room. Oh, I should do wide angle, why aren't I doing that? I have so much a, such a small room that every inch of real estate, <laughs> you know, uh, takes up, you know, a lot of space. So I wanted to get rid of that. I just took it home and I'm have, gonna start using it for some other projects. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. Got some new mics and I'll do a separate video about this guy, which I'm really excited about this. This is a Shure KSM uh, 32. I think that's what it's called, KSM 32. Really, really good condenser mic uh, to use as my overhead. And then I also got a Shure Beta 52 down there on the kick. So. Some pretty nice mic up upgrades, and uh, I'm pretty excited about those. So, but those will be in separate videos. Uh, this video is going to be about replacing the heads, the uh, rims mount, and the hoops on the kick drum. Okay, one thing I thought I would show you guys, um, if you are doing this or you know on something similar, like any type of uh, Tom isolation thing, you may need an extra washer uh, that is big enough for the basically the mounting hardware uh, because you know this mounting hardware the tom mount is made to go through a wooden shell and you'll notice that the you know the actual metal from the suspension mount isn't quite as thick as a wooden shell so i have these washers that are big enough that the you know the hardware can go through it and then plus i can screw this down you know with my original washer on here and it'll make the whole thing uh, nice and secure. And I had those from before on the other mount. Basically, I took them off of, uh, uh, they're just uh, regular old lug washers uh, like these, you know, that go on drums. Uh, and they, are they, wait, no, where did I get those? Oh, I got those from, it was just another piece of drum hardware. I just kind of robbed them from, from a, a clamp uh, mount. But uh, anyway, yeah, you might want to look for something like that so that way you can get it nice and tight and it's not rattling around on there. I just wanted to show that to you guys. And uh, also, if you're interested in, you know, how the drum looks, uh, Tom Imperial Star uh, with the head taken off, that's it right there. And uh, I removed the, the mounting hardware from right there. And that's what's right here now. And then once this is on here, this is gonna be like this. I can still mount it to my drum or to my bass drum. So yeah, let me finish up. All right, I got the Gogger mount installed, and man, it has a ton of sustain. This Tom has never had that much sustain. I mean, it always sounded really good, I thought, but now it's like crazy. Like the sustain is crazy. It sustains for like a full second. Like, <laughs> let me get over here. Sorry, I'm trying to squeeze through so we, I can look at it from the front. Let me get out of the room. It's the only place I can see the full set. Yeah, it looks pretty cool too. Nice. All right, now it's time to put the bass drum hoops on there. I'm a little bit, well, yeah, I might as well do it. I have another resonant head coming. I, I actually ordered one of the, the white Tama resonant heads, and I bet it'll come today while I'm here at, at my apartment, so I'll have to come back. But I was like, should I wait uh, before I switch out? Maybe I'll wait before I switch out the front one uh, for that to get here. Uh, so I don't have to do it twice. Uh, so that's probably what I'll do. I'll probably just switch the the batter side for now. And then, well, I don't know. We'll see how I feel. <laughs> oh, actually, first I need to change my floor tom head. I, I didn't do that yet. So let me do that first. All right, I got the maple hoops on. And I think they look really, really nice. And uh, just in case it's the first video you're ever watching of mine, this is actually a Tama Imperial Star Bop. Uh, they discontinued this model uh, pretty quickly after they started making it back in 2015. And uh, it's basically a Tama Imperial Star, except with a 18 inch bass drum, which you can still get, but this one actually comes with a lift, where the newer, you can't see it now, but the newer ones don't, as far as I know, maybe they do. And the toms are a little shallower than the standard Imperial Star. And then I also have this 
I'm not sure if they have this either. I don't think they do. This kind of symbol mount uh, that you could get for these. And uh, so, but yeah, I got the, the maple hoops on there now, the gogger rims mount, and I think it looks really good. Let's hear how it sounds. All right, that's going to be all for today's drum vlog episode. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe. Click the bell icon and the like button. Also, check out my record label, anthillrecordings.bandcamp.com. That is a great way you can help support this channel by purchasing some music from there. Or you can always stream me on Spotify or Apple Music or anywhere like that. Just search Demonic Sweaters and I'll pop up. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video and have a great day. Later.